ITE, shorthand English intermediate grade, August 2009, speed papers, recorded at 100 words per minute, read by Sri P. Lakshmi Prasad. Get ready, start. Mr. Speaker, sir, I congratulate the finance minister on the careers with which he has come forward with taxation proposals. Though I will not agree with him in respect of some items proposed for taxation. Of course, he knows that very well. It may be remembered that he has said here once or twice that somebody must become unpopular and that he would become unpopular in imposing these new taxes. That is what he is doing now. But at the same time, I think that he is willing to drop from taxation some of the articles on which all of us are agreed. I hope that when the select committee stays is over, he will agree to drop most of the articles on which he has proposed new taxes. We are aware that he is always responsive to public opinion. I want to refer to only one point on the particular legislation that is now before the House, namely entertainment tax. It has been said that the cinemas are not making good and that therefore there is no use of trying to tax them. I don't know anything about the finances of the cinema theatres. As we know, any taxation is unpopular. But so far as the money to be realized from the cinemas is concerned, if the proposal should materialize, I have got a proposal to make. The finance minister should modify the provisions of the bill so as to pass on that income to the municipalities from whose areas he is making the collection. In this connection, I want to point out that he wants money not for himself, but he wants it for the entire state. There is no doubt that the municipality is an important part of the administration. It is a local institution, while we have here a state administration. We know that the municipalities have very meager funds and they always look to the state government for their finances. So, if this taxation proposal materializes, I want this money for the municipalities. If that is done, the municipality will get a large benefit. In that way, we can make the municipalities not to come to the government for some grant or other. A general provision like this will enable them to have an income of their own. It is much better. I would therefore suggest for the consideration of the finance minister to pass on this income to the municipalities. Then, even if the government get all the money that is expected to be got from excise, still it would have been necessary to impose new taxes. I say so because the expenditure is increasing rapidly from time to time. So, even if we get all the revenue from excise, the budget will be unbalanced. If the expenditure on public works, education, etc. increases in the way in which 
it has done it would have been necessary for the finance minister to come forward with taxation measures i will not say anything more letter from moses and company kolkata two measures nathan and company hyderabad dear sirs we are glad to inform you that we have placed on the market our polar brand ceiling and table fans we would like to inform you that these models are very much improved in quality and design as compared to our previous models we are happy to inform you that it is the result of a long research by our engineers for your information we enclose an illustrated catalog you will be pleased to find from it that this model has some special merits compared to other fans you will be glad to know that it is also very economical since the current consumption is 10% less than in the case of other varieties of fans further we assure you that they will have a long life we have already received many inquiries from different parts of india we are offering a generous term of 10% discount and 40 days credit we hope you will take advantage of this excellent offer and as soon as possible please your trial order with us which will be executed with very great care yours faithfully